Hey everybody, this is your friend Siraljeet and in this video, I'm going to show you the options that you have when you're trying to pin or repin content to your Pinterest boards using Pinflux. So let's get started and quickly see what are the things that you can do. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is start by selecting the board that you want to work on. And I've got these many boards here. I'm going to select another board because the board that I am on, it's already got some data and I want to show you things right from the beginning. So I'm going to click on this board right over here. And the first thing you will see when you move to a new board is Pinflux is going to ask you to add some keywords. And that's the first step that you need to do. So click on yes, or you can go directly into settings. And in settings, you will see this box here, which lets you add keywords, you know, for which Pinflux will be looking for. So these are the keywords that Pinflux will be trying to find content for. So I'm going to put in something like jackets. So let's say you are selling jackets or whatever you want to sell and click on add keyword. And that's it. You can add multiple keywords. You can add three or four or five keywords from your niche and that's perfectly fine. If you want to add something below the descriptions, when you're posting something to Pinterest and you want to add your own custom message or you want to add your own link or whatever, you can do it right over here. Please visit mystore.com for more designs or whatever you want to say, you can say it right over here. If you want to put in a link, you can put in a link and when people click on that pin, they will be directed to your website. And if you want to connect Pinterest to Facebook and to Twitter, so whenever you make a post on Pinterest, it will be automatically posted to your Facebook page and your Twitter account. You can do so by clicking on the icon, which will ask you for further details. Fill in those details and you'll be able to connect your Pinflex account to Facebook and to Twitter too. Once you're ready, click on save settings and that's it the settings have been saved and now you can actually start getting content so go into search results and you see that you're already getting a lot of content now you've got two options to actually send it to pinterest the first thing is if you want to immediately pin it to your to your board you can do that by just clicking on pin now and right then pinflux is going to pin that to your board if you want to check it out on the board you will see this icon and if you click on it it will load the browser and you can see that in the browser this has been pinned so this is what happens when you try to pin stuff you can pin it by just clicking a button the second mode is if you want to just add items to a queue and let pinflux pin them to your board at regular intervals to do that you need to click on add to queue so if you want to you want to you want to add this design to your queue just click on add to queue click on add to queue and click on add to queue so when you go into pending pins right over here you will see that the designs that you added are a part of the queue i'm going to delete this one don't like it so much go back maybe find a replacement maybe this one and these designs or these images will be pinned to your board according to the settings that you have inside of Pinflux. So let's go back to settings and revisit them and see. So the first setting is automatically pinned to board. So if you click on this, Pinterest will start pinning things automatically. It won't need any action from you. And anything that is in the queue will be pinned automatically from, from Pinflux. And you can also add pins to the queue. So if you want to uh, automatically get the pins in search added to the queue you don't want to click on anything like i clicked on add to queue and then it was added to the pending pins you don't want to do that you can just just get all the search results all the fresh results that you're getting and put it in pending pins and that means it's in 100 percent autopilot the third option is to decide how much time you want to have between two pins so you can have as few as 45 minutes and you can take up the time to maybe every four hours or even more than that according to your own choices and once you're done again click on save settings and the settings will be saved so let me just tell you again in search results you got two options pin now or add to queue if something is added to the queue it will not be posted to pinterest right then it will be posted according to the time gap you put in every 45 minutes one of these will be posted to your pinterest board and if you have 
auto add to queue switched on automatically pin uh, queue pins on auto switched on right over here all the search results all the fresh images that pinflux finds for the keywords that you put in from pinterest they'll be added to pending pins that way you can actually save a lot more time so this is how pins work when you want to pin the content afresh to your board and if you want to repin content click on repin and the principle is just the same in settings you will find the very same things you can put in the keywords that you want let's go for jackets again add keyword you can put in any pinterest board url that you want and of course it, with every option you will see helpful little hints so you can actually auto post any pins from a board that you want to follow so if there's any particular board that you like and you want to auto post all the new pins on it to your board you can do that and you can actually decide how many pins you want to fetch so if you have a board which is like very old which might have hundreds of pins and you don't want to put them all in the queue you can decide how many pins you want and you can add any text you want below the pins that you make below the repins that you make using this box and you can put in your links right over here once you're done click on save settings again all the fresh content that pinflux is able to get it's going to be displayed in search results and you can repin things by clicking on repin now or you can add them to a queue and they will be repinned according to the time interval that you set up all of pinflux in fact works on the same pattern so once you understand this you can use any section you can use like follow and follow and follow user follow user group boards and everything else in a similar fashion